this video, I will discuss HeapSort and its visualization in the Java system. I'm on Java's hyper textbook for the HeapSort algorithm. Many of the algorithms in Java have a corresponding hyper textbook. These hyper textbooks explain the algorithm to a student so they have some knowledge of the algorithm before using the visualization. Additionally, the hyper textbook explains any conventions of the visualization. I will now look at the Java visualization of HeapSort. First, I go to java.org and click on the button to start the visualizer. Once Java opens, I click on Connect, select HeapSort from the drop down menu, and click Visualize. The window that opens allows us to enter our own data or have random data generated for us. We'll paste in our own data this time. On the far left, we have a vertical set of boxes containing the numbers we entered. This is a representation of the array in memory. In the middle, we have a binary tree. This is the logical representation of the binary tree used by the heap sort algorithm. On the right is a pseudocode version of the heap sort algorithm and the value of the variable in pseudocode. Notice the line which is highlighted. This line is the next one to be executed in our visualization of the algorithm. We will move forward a frame. Java allows us to move forward and backwards in the execution of an algorithm. We'll continue to move forward. Notice that when the method call is taken, Java switches its pseudocode to the body of that method. Also notice that the stack has changed to illustrate that a method call has been taken. Notice that element 3 in the array and node 3 in the tree are highlighted blue. This corresponds to the current node in the shift down method. There are now currently two items of note. First notice that elements 3 and 7 and nodes 3 and 7 in the tree are highlighted blue. These correspond to the variables current and biggest child in the function. Secondly, notice that a question has popped up. Occasionally questions come up which are randomly generated by the Java system. This question asks, the highlighted parent is the root of a heap. The answer here is false, so we click false and then check answer. It tells us it's correct. The Java system also provides a quiz mode, which allows a professor to test a student's knowledge of the algorithm and get the results of the answers provided by the student for grading purposes. We'll continue through the algorithm and its visualization. Notice that a different type of question has popped up, in this case a fill in the blank. Java has numerous types of questions to test a student's knowledge. In this case, the question is asking, the value in position 2 will end up in position what after this heap down? In this case, the answer is 5. So we enter 5 and click check answer. It is correct. We can turn off questions by going to options and then click show questions. However, when Java is in quiz mode, questions cannot be turned off. We will continue through the algorithm. Notice that at this point, element 7 and node 7 are colored red. This indicates that these elements have been put at their final position in the array, and this means that they will no longer be considered in further passes through the algorithm. We'll continue to click forward. And as you can see, heap sort continues as expected. The algorithm is finished and the visualization is complete. If you have further questions about Java or are interested in using it for one of your courses, please visit java.org.